Hey, it's Chef Adele here, giving you feedback on week two assignment tofu. So I know you said you had a few challenges. Um, I think you were saying that the uh, mixture, yeah, for the feta, it was too vinegary. Yeah, we we talked about that in class. And, and sometimes you just have to give it like another stir uh, or maybe a few times before you serve it. But it may have just been one of those dishes that uh, the flavor was spot on when you first make it. And sometimes it'll settle with the uh, the juices from the tofu too, creating that uh, kind of bitter flavor. All right. So yeah, just watch out for that. If you make it again, it was fine. Like you mentioned, when you poured it on, the flavor was good. But also, I'm wondering, did you press the tofu? All right, then crusted tofu. Let's see. You say you dipped it in the flour and water solution and... Oh, no, with the phone. Yeah, phones can be a pain sometimes. Okay, yeah, it's okay. We'll we'll take a look at the photos and see what happened. Um, but you said the bread coat, uh, the breadcrumb coating didn't really stick to it. So, yeah, with that, you would just add more of that batter because it should have been like a pancake batter consistency. So that would really help everything, uh, the breadcrumb mixture stick to it, okay? And if it burned a little bit, sometimes you can like just cut that off. So let's look at the photos and see what happened. But you substituted the curry for paprika, smoked paprika. So yeah, that's another way to build flavor. All right. The ricotta went well though. So that's awesome. And then with the zucchini rolls, you said that you missed the photo, but you still were able to get a close up. So that's great. All right. Techniques listed here look good. Mise en place. Just make sure you include the measurements as well. All right, your production steps look good too. And then I mentioned before too about the Ezekiel bread. Like you may have to just uh, toast it like really crispy, right? So tofu feta, savory, tangy, umami, herbaceous tofu cubes. Encrusted tofu, crisp on the outside, soft on the inside, savory baked tofu strips. Tofu scramble, savory, cheesy, satisfying tofu scrambled on a skillet. Tofu ricotta, thick, smooth blend of tofu with tangy, bright, and slightly cheesy flavor. And then lastly, the grilled zucchini rolls, an hors d'oeuvre of bright, herbaceous tofu ricotta rolled in strips of grilled zucchini. Nice. Nice flavor journaling, too, as well as your checklist. Let's move into your photos. All right, Chef ID looks good. Sanitizing strip. All right, looks like your uh, tofu scramble mise en place. Color looks really good, nice and golden. All right, encrusted tofu. Let's see what happened here. All right, no, nah, this looks good though. I mean, here, if it didn't stick, you could have just added a little more of that batter and then added the breadcrumbs on top. All right. Yeah, and so these pieces here that burned in the oven, I would literally just have removed these from the parchment paper and we would not have even owned, okay? Except for like these little edges here, you would have to cut off. <laughs> but it definitely looks nice, golden brown and crisp. All right, let's check out your feta here. Cubes look good. All right, I see you added that marinade there. Yeah, just consider the tofu juices as well mixing in. That may throw it off. Uh, I believe that's really what happened there. Okay. Ricotta looks good. You can add a little water to get rid of some of these chunks of tofu as well. Your grill marks look good. Just be careful not to cut them too thin because uh, it will turn translucent on you. All right. Oh, nice rolls here. Yeah. I was telling another student that it kind of looks like bacon. So if you dehydrated this, it would be like a uh, a zucchini bacon. You would have to add like some more natural smoke to it and some other colors. But yeah, that's what it puts me in mind of. But these rolls look really good. I would just be careful with the grilling so that it doesn't get overcooked. All right. Great job this week. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave me a message.